What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I get a lot of questions on my vlogs on how I do my blurry time lapses. I'll give you an example right here. So if you thought that looked cool, let's head outside. I'm gonna show you how I accomplished it. Alrighty, now that we're outside, I'm gonna to explain to you how I achieve this effect and what makes it possible. So sadly, this isn't going to be a free tutorial. You're gonna to have to buy at least one thing, and that is an ND filter. This is a key component because you're not gonna be able to block out enough light to shoot a time lapse during the day and also get motion blur without an ND filter. I'm gonna throw up a couple links in the description. I'll link to a few cheaper ones and a few nicer ones. The one that I bought was around $59. I got it at Sammy's Camera Store. So they're not ridiculously expensive, but it's definitely necessary for this tutorial. A lot of you probably already have something like this, but you might not have something that needs to be as dark. So the ND filter that I'm gonna be using for this tutorial is an ND 3.0, which is super, super, super dark. It blocks out almost all the light to the sensor. This is a key, whoa, got a fly flying around. This is a key component in getting a good blurry time lapse because what you're essentially doing is stopping down your aperture as low as you can, putting on your ND filter, and then cranking your shutter up to around one or two seconds. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this on the Panasonic GH5, but essentially any DSLR will work for this. I'm gonna step behind the lens and show you how this is done. All right, as we pan over here, I'm gonna give you a little overlay of what my camera looks like. So basically what I'm gonna do is crank open the shutter displayed by that number right there. And then I'm gonna crank it open a little more till it's at like 1.6 to two seconds down there. That's gonna overexpose the image obviously, but when you bring the ND filter back on, that's what's gonna compensate and allow you to have such a wide open shutter. Then let the time lapse roll. So the typical settings that I found out that have worked the best with the GH5 are an interval of around three seconds, a shutter of two seconds, which means the shutter of your camera will be open for two seconds, and that's what allows the motion blur of your scene to like move, and it captures all the light that occurs during that period. So that's basically what is causing the motion blur. And then I just have my aperture around F9 or F14 as close down as I can go. You basically just have to mess around and get a properly exposed image with a shutter speed of around two seconds. I know this is a pretty basic uh, photography and videography thing but I had a lot of people comment on my vlogs and I just wanted to address it and answer your guys's questions I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes there's a creek behind my house and mosquitoes are there and they just eat you alive anyways I hope you enjoyed this quick filmmaking tip as always subscribe and turn on my notifications if you like this type of content YouTube is not really great anymore when it comes to the subscription module but if you turn on those notifications you'll be sure never to miss an upload again if, if that's something you want to be sure to never miss again probably not I'm okay with that don't turn them on Bite me.